My name is Bill Fabian. I'm a gastroenterologist here at Mayo Clinic and I take care of both children and adults with uh, the inflammatory bowel diseases, Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. My role here is to take care of patients both in the clinical setting and I also have a research laboratory and what we're interested in um, some of the causes of chronic intestinal inflammation. There was a recent publication in Nature Methods that described for the first time the development of a stem cell line directly from the gut. That's interesting because obviously there's been an awful lot in the news recently about stem cells being utilized in the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease. Indeed, there are several studies that are ongoing right now with stem cells in a variety of different inflammatory conditions, including Crohn's disease, um, as well as some of the complications of Crohn's disease. What's interesting about this recent publication, as well as some of the work that we're doing, is that this publication was the first to really describe an intestinal cell line um, that was generated from a mouse. The work that's been done up until now have derived two different types of stem cells. One that you can get from the bone marrow and the one that you can get from fat. We have a particular interest in the stem cells that you can derive from fat. Uh, our group has recently undertaken uh, a study in which we isolate fat-derived stem cells and we try to treat a particular complication of Crohn's disease. That complication is called perianal fistulizing Crohn's disease, which simply means that the Crohn's disease has burrowed deep into the lining of the gut and comes out almost as like an abscess uh, near the rear end or around the bottom. So we have come up with a protocol where we're interested in developing uh, fat-derived stem cells and treat this perianal uh, fistulizing complication. Um, this group builds upon data that's been collected really worldwide and there's quite a bit of data from a group in Spain where they've been using also fat derived stem cells and a type of um, glue to close the fistula tract together. Instead of using glue, what we're interested in is using a matrix that's already available to treat some of these fistulae. Um, and then we coat that matrix with stem cells that we get from the patient uh, at the time of, uh, of the biopsy. And we believe that the coating on that matrix is going to provide the healing factors that are going to make these close faster and with uh, less of a rate of redevelopment. So this is a trial that we're actively engaged in. We're also interested in studying how these cells work. And so some of our work in the laboratory is built around that. And we hope that this is going to provide long-lasting relief uh, to patients with uh, this debilitating complication of perianal fistulizing Crohn's disease. Thanks very much.